the forehead of your robot. Me and my friend were diehard fans Epic Mickey, we heard 2 is coming. But one day, the game caused my nightmares to come true, and my friends too. It was 2pm. I was looking in eBay to buy a new game. I found an Epic Mickey game and, I clicked on it. It was called, Epic Mickey Zero. The description said, take it away or he will kill me, the game is cursed, take it. I was creeped out, I asked myself, who's he? I bought a game and the description said, thank you, now destory it, and never play it. I was like, da fuck. I clicked refresh and, it 404 on me. After a few weeks. The box came in we poorly written to and from words. I opened the box and the cover was pretty creepy. There was Mickey's hand holding a knife and Toon's corpse were hung on the upper part of the cover and there was a black background with a red text said, Mickey, in blood text and red color. I opened the case and the disc was blank and marked blood, Mickey. I invited my friend over to see this. He came and looked at the manual and he looked at it and puked at the picture Mickey eating Oswald's guts. We forget the picture and pop the game in. The we loaded up and I pressed A on the game section and it was black and red discs. No music or sound. The screen slowly faded to a spreel with blood red on it. I quickly started the game feeling creeped out. The game's warning is black and take me to the logo of Disney with blood dropping down from the words and red flash to me to company's name. Shizable table. One of the weirdest name for a company. There was message in Shizable said, mean death. It was very fast. The blackness take me to the title screen with only two sentence, Mickey, and press plus to play. I pressed plus and take me to the save menu than the main menu. Only one save, play with Mickey Mouse. The date was all just six. I made a new save and the game went black and red static came and take me back to the menu again. I picked the save and make my problems go away. The time was 9 p.m. I watched the cutscene with my friend and there was Mickey on stage with 1 million people there. He did his act in the house of mouse and everybody booed at him with hyper realistic eye that were red. His friends booed at him and his brother and everybody from Disney booed at him and left. Mickey headed home on foot walking endlessly and made it him. Pluto was nowhere to be seen. Mickey was crying in his room. After he cried for 2 minutes he got a rifle and shot himself and the screen went black and fades back to his corpse bleeding and his soul left his body and did the same thing he did in the first one. He saw Yen Sid have a paintbrush with some tall guy with tentacles and fedora to hide his face while wearing a suit. Yen Sid dip his brush into the thinner and thinned out the wasteland. It was very shocking. We heard someone taking. We turned the volume up and the narration sounds more demonic than meets the eye. We never understand what he was saying. Yen Sid looked at the tall guy and a tentacle went out and put the brush down like normal. He killed Yen Sid by stealing his soul. Mickey hide and the guy vanished. There was a message on the corner said, Yen Sid is done with his life by the mind man. I thought it was the slender man. What a shitty name for a slender man related character. Mickey came up the work and found knife in the drawer and cut the wasteland into pieces like Tetris. Mind man was standing behind him and showed his face. He had no eyeballs and with a flesh eating smile with his eye bleeding. He looked like a Roblox in a family guy body with his head Robloxian and brought out his tentacles and choked Mickey and jumped into the wasteland and brought Mickey down with no paintbrush. The sky was blood red and mind man let Mickey go. There were the mind men. There was Hortensia, Bugs Bunny and Darkwing Duck with their eyes gone and bleeding with a blood eating grin. The game went static with blood red colors. The game was black and faded to a torture chamber with no dialogue or a small scene. I go upstairs in game and made it to a room with three doors to choose. I picked door 1 and the noise went loud static noise and all his friends were hung and cut and up. Mickey called their names and cried on his knees. The mind man came to lock the door and take him and the screen went static and taken back to room again with his health bar bleeding. The ink on him was blood. I entered door 2. The room was pitch black and he walked by himself to spikes and his body crashed into the spikes and once again. Static came and take me back to the room again with 3 doors. I picked the middle door. It taken me into a whole new screen. There was the it's a small world clock with a color face with blood red color on his face. His hands were tentacles. 
I killed it and he exploded into bloods and guts. The screen was broken CCTV like with no time on the bottom. I was taken to a level in main street with their bodies lying down like they're dead. There's no MMEs. The mind men were standing there with the love and air town music reversed. There was blood curling screaming. I tried to shut off the game. The Wii won't let me. I played the game like hours and hours. I handed the controller to my friend to play. He played for like 10 hours. We saw a cutscene with Mickey killing Felix and eating his head and Kitty commit suits by dropping dead on the floor. Mickey eat her head too. We were grossed out and never get this scene out of our head. We still played for 9 hours. It was morning and still playing. We go to the last scene a dark ending like a very scary ending. Oswald fight Mickey and Mind Man took Oswald and hung him like he is dead. Mickey ran from the Mind Man. Darkwing Duck was standing in front of him. He said. You can't hide. You can't run. You can't survive the Mind Man. In a scrabbled voice. The screen went haywire. We throw the Wii out the window and ripped out the cords out and throw them with a the Wii. We smash the Wii to find the disc and destory it. We take the Wii to the fire end. We were sleepless. The nightmare on me started me playing the game again in a pitch black room. The mind man came out and took me and ripped my lungs and my gibbs out. I woke up and never played Epic Mickey for 2 years. We wished we never bought the game in the first place.